unimpressive. If you were to talk to the people in Corinth about Paul, what kind of man he was, the answer you would get would be unimpressive. Now, when Paul was a Pharisee and persecuting the church, he was impressive. He dressed like a Pharisee. He carried himself like a Pharisee. And his knowledge and zeal for the law was unsurpassed. But when he encountered the risen Jesus on the road to Emmaus and began to proclaim the gospel to the Gentiles, Paul stopped worrying about how impressive he might look or not look or how impressive he might sound or not sound. He was unimpressive because he wanted Christ to take the lead in his life. Unfortunately, the church in Corinth looked at Paul's outer nature and said, you're just not really that important to us. You don't dress well. You hang out with the wrong people. You don't even have a lot of money. You have to work as a tent maker just to make ends meet. You're unimpressive. Why should we listen to you? So Paul begins to explain in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 5 through 12, how we must fade into the background so that the light of Christ can shine through us. He talks about people being treasure in a clay jar. That a clay jar is unimpressive, but that the light of Christ that can radiate from every single person, impressive or not, is true treasure. We're going to talk about what it means to be unimpressive to others so that we can share the overwhelming joy of being a follower of Jesus to all. So my hope is that when you leave Sunday, you'll be completely unimpressed. If you want to come be unimpressed with me this Sunday, join me in worship at 8.30 and 11 o'clock in the sanctuary and on live stream as well.